Y'all, it's time for a little bit of an unbagging. Unbagging, unboxing. You know what I mean. It's not really a haul because it's two things. Two things that I ordered with your help. If you subscribe and click the like button and watch these videos, you're helping us all to get discount codes maybe from from some of these great, great brands. So today we have, I'm kind of kidding, but kind of not kidding. We have a tiny little haul from Zara and we have actually a, um, I need to put you up higher. We have a, where shall I put you? No, the light is bad. Let's see if the camera fixes that. Oh, look at that. The camera is fixing that. Y'all just, you know what? If you spend a little bit on great tools, then you will always be okay. All right, so we're gonna do this one first. This one is actually a, um, a resupply. And it actually, if you go and look in my empties videos, which will be up here somewhere, um, I'll link them up here for you, is what I mean. Um, you will find the reason that I'm getting this box. This is actually my second restock of this item. This is the, this is the card that they give you. Hello. And they thank you for buying from them, which I think is so nice. This is actually what I am getting for the second time. This is the deodorant from Necessaire. It is the best natural deodorant. In fact, it's just the best deodorant like ever. Not only are you deodorized, but you are antiperspirized <laughs> and your skin feels great. I can't say enough great things about it. So this is my, my, um, replacement that I keep. I always make sure that I have one on the counter and then one in the cupboard. So I just got the one out of the cupboard new and opened it. So I'm replacing this so that I always have a new one of these on my shelf upstairs in the bathroom always um, because I never ever want to run out of this because I never want to use drugstore deodorant or or really any other brand of natural deodorant. I've tried two or three and I just don't like them. This is a special just because I was shopping for the deodorant and I have used this um, Bergamot Necessaire body wash in the past and I have loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, the, <gasps> I think they did. Oh, that would be so great. I was gonna say the only thing, the only thing that I didn't like with their um, body wash with the first, oh God, I'm so clumsy, clumsy McClums today. Um, the only thing I didn't like about their body wash in the past, and this is, I'm talking about like last summer, was that their body wash was in a, um, in a container like this, but it was a top like this that you had to twist off and dump out. Look what they did. Y'all, they were listening to us. So what is what this is, is, you just twist the top like a quarter turn and then you take off this little cover for the top of it. And you just go like, like so. And then you have a beautiful, oh my gosh, smell, smell. It smells so good, smell. Oh my gosh, it is like the definition of clean. It's slightly citrusy, I mean, when I say slightly citrusy, I mean like 
so like like you're smelling citrus from your next door neighbor's house and then on top of that the bergamot scent of this also has a kind of like fresh grass scent to it in the best way it's like it's like you're smelling a lime grapefruit and your neighbor's fresh cut grass all coming in on just a fresh breeze and I know that sounds dramatic but I'm trying to describe to you what this smells like it is so delicious I didn't order this so I think it is a sample or a free gift let's see I think it's a free gift. I'll check the um, pour le man, French for, for, le, for the hands. This is looks like a French brand, but this is actually an American brand and they do a lot of donating their proceeds. So I do a lot of, <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> to finish my sentence, they're a really great um, environmentally, socially conscious, um, just aware, woke brand that is American. And so I try to do what I can to support brands like that. If I'm going to buy body wash and deodorant, I try to look for it with brands that I'm going to love and not be embarrassed that I buy from. <laughs> so that's how I originally found this um, brand as well as seeing it all over um, YouTube and other social media platforms. But it's not French, even though there's all of these products that are written in French. Look at this. This was a free gift with purchase and this, oh, this is a like a metal container, a metal container, a metal tube, <laughs> find your words, Lynn. And it literally looks like toothpaste from the 1940s. Look at that, isn't that chic? And look, it is peptide hand cream. Look at that. Look at all those yummy ingredients. Sorry, my camera's trying to adjust. So there is, um, oh, let's see, peptides in here. Let's see if the box tells us any more peptides. There is one peptide, it says. The benefits are to nourish and protect. There's a multivitamin formula, B3, it looks like. Vitamin C, vitamin E, omega-6, and omega-9. Fragrance-free. And the pH is uh, between 5.5 and 6.5. So it should be an effective pH level to do all the right things for your skin so that it doesn't do damage or it doesn't sit on your skin and do nothing. <laughs> so this has a... Yeah, so it's got one of these metal tube tops like we used to see in the olden days and then you use the cap to puncture the tube. So you do like this and then you just shove it all the way down and then take it off and then turn it around and do like that. Let's try it. Here we go. Here we go. This is how you open it. Remember that this is how we start. Then we take it and go like this. Puncture. Okay. Then if we come off. See there's a little bit of product on there. Product starting to come out. So I'm going to just take that. And that's coming out probably just because I was pressing on the tube. It's not because there's something wrong with the tube. I was like playing with it and pressing it. So it's, this, this is what it looks like. Nice and thick and occlusive. Not too thick though. It's not like, it's not like a kind of, um, oh gosh, like those creams that have lots and lots of wax in them. I love some of those, but 
in a tube for a hand cream, you like a balance of wax ingredient with like shea butters and other softer ingredients. Look at that, look how nice. Oh, so yummy. Nice and dewy, goes right in the skin. It's unscented, so, and as we sit here and it absorbs, it just goes so nicely into the skin. Just very, very moisturizing. Hands are especially veiny today for some reason. I don't know if you can see, the top hand is a little bit crepey, and this hand is got some spring and dewy life to it, and the top hand just looks a little bit dry and a little bit crepey. Thank you, Necessaire, for that gift of your hand cream. So we have the hand cream. Okay, what else? That's it from Necessaire. So let's go on and look at the Zara package. This is so exciting. So this is the Zara package. I am going, let's see. Sometimes when you open these packages with scissors, you end up sort of cutting right into your, your new socks or something. <laughs> Not that I ever did that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Always a nice presentation from Zara. Zara to me is kind of like a more chic, kind of slightly elevated version of H&M. And H&M is like a more chic, slightly elevated version of Old Navy. Um, H&M and Zara have come out in the last year, to, to my observation, as a, a place to get great chic style at affordable cost. So each one of these items was, I think, under $25. So this whole package, and it's a few things, was under, I think it was under $80, American dollars. Okay. So first we have, oh, it's so cute. Okay. So first we have this adorable ribbed bodysuit. So you can see the ribbed texture there. Thank you very much, great camera. Label from Sarah. Then we have the sleeves are this kind of lovely cotton, like a tight weave, almost like a bed linen. Very light, but structured. And it's two of these. And then this is what the side looks like. So. If you have arms that are a little bit on the bigger side, you need more accommodation in the sleeve at the shoulder, this is gonna do it for you. And it also comes up nice and high, so it should you know, come up to here, so it won't be one of those things that's slipped down to here and shows, all, shows your knickers, or your top knickers. <laughs> I love this top. This is not something that I saw on the website. The, um, the neckline is finished and stitched all the way around and the same in the back. And the bodysuit has, let's see, snaps. Okay, it has snaps, three snaps, like so. And this should be easy or relatively easy for anyone who has dexterity issues. Um, if you are over a certain age and your hands are starting to shake a little bit or you have a little bit of a tremble, no matter what age, these should be relatively easy for you to snap. They're not teeny tiny and they just, you know, you just put them together and then press. If you have a strength problem, it might be. Okay, and they're big enough that they're not so tiny that you have to be fiddly with them. So very nice, simple inside. 
That is what the inside looks like. So it's a little bit smoother on the inside than on the outside. So this is the inside. And that's the outside with the kind of ribbing fabric. Okay, so this is a bodysuit. I love a bodysuit. It is, when it is on, because it's this ribbing fabric, it's gonna stretch a little bit and it's going to um, not, because it's a nice thick fabric, if it stretches a little bit, it's not gonna be like super see-through. I mean, if you're wearing a white bra underneath this, you might see a little bit, but it's not gonna be, if it stretches a little bit, it's not gonna be so bad that you're literally out there with your bra showing to the world. Okay, super chic. I wanna say this was $20, $20? Can you believe it? Sarah, y'all, I always thought Zara was like, you know, the place where the Duchess of Cambridge shopped and everything was $1,000 and up. And again, with the white one, I bought a white and a black version of the same top. Oh, here we go. $19.90. Look at that. That is a heck of a deal. This is so great for folks. I think it restores your self-esteem when you can shop with anyone. You can shop with the Duchess of Cambridge. You can shop with an influencer. You can shop with a celebrity, with uh, someone who makes more money than you do or, or you know, whatever it is that you are comparing yourself to, which you shouldn't do, but people do it. You can shop with the rest of the world at Zara. They have sh the chicest of chic stuff. I mean, this is something you would see on a French girl in Paris she would wear it maybe with some boyfriend jeans and you know maybe a low slung belt. She would maybe have some stacked bracelets, whether they're beaded or fine jewelry. I mean, this is, you could wear a ball cap with this or you could wear a straw hat. You could wear no hat, your hair up, your hair down. You could wear it with a skirt. I mean, you could wear it with anything. I have a pair of white jeans that I can wear this with. It's a nice high cut, but it's not cut so high that it's gonna show up at the top of your jeans. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. And it's like, to me, it's just tacky when you are showing parts of you that you didn't intend. Okay, so the reason I went to the Zara website to start with was to get this cute t-shirt. This is a kind of slightly off-white, even though in the camera it's showing up as white-white. In my house, it is showing up as, oh gosh, just the slightest of off-whites. Almost like you tea stain something and then bleached it again. So it's almost got a kind of like a natural feel to the color, like you could wear it with espadrilles or some creamy, um, like jute wedges or something. Um, okay, this is what I went to Zara for when I saw this on a commercial. <laughs> this blouse, blouse, it's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt that they cut the shoulder out of. So here's the neckline. Look at that, just a little bit of peekaboo of the arm. In fact, I'm gonna put this on. So I have my yoga top underneath this. I just wanted to slip it on to show you because it's kind of a complex situation. The girls are hanging a little bit low because I just have a yoga top on, like I said. Um, this is what I wanted. I wanted like a super basic cotton t-shirt with just a little bit just a little bit of interest. I mean, look at this, it's so cute. Let me see if I can find some place where you can see me better. And then when I went to get this, I found those other two pieces. <laughs> okay, all right, so here we go. This is a small, it's a, a, a US size small. I'm 5'2", barely. And I would say I'm a size four. Okay, 
So right up around the neckline, nice and high. When I have a proper bra on, everything will be right where it should be. And just look how a little bit, this is some kind of a, it's not this t-shirt material. It's almost like a, feels a little bit like a muslin with some synthetic fibers in it. But look at that. When you just give that a little bit of a zhuzh, just open that up. It's almost like they stitched a tube of fabric around a hole that they cut in the sleeve. And it doesn't expose, like if you don't like the backs of your arms, it doesn't expose that. It just exposes the cutest part of your shoulder. Look at that. Y'all, look. Oh, I'm dying. I'm so happy with this. Oh, how cute. How cute is this? And it doesn't, it lays right. It doesn't sort of, you know, gather in any places that you don't want it to. It lays nicely on the body. It is just the most adorable little top. I mean, it's hanging up on this yoga top because it's cotton on cotton. But, and this cotton is nice and heavy as well. Okay, so let's see how much this was. How much was this, y'all? Let's see. $19? $20? So three cute tops for probably three seasons for 20, let's say 20, let's round it up to $20 each. Two, four, six, under $70 with shipping. The cutest stuff. I'm so these are the two, the two tops over here. I might not even have to steam these because this cotton, look at this cotton. It's just like this really lovely, again, like I said, almost bed linen type of a cotton. It's got a little finished edge. Just this, the details that you expect from something that you purchase at Nordstrom's or something that you purchase at Revolve or My Teresa or net a -Portier. So I, I love a Zara purchase. I'm just so, so, so pleased with this. And I am eating up my battery life, so I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs> I'll see you probably later today. <laughs> this is probably the first time that I have been out, like out socially in a year and almost a year and a half. I don't really, I'm not really excited about it, um, but it's very close to the house and I have my, my matching mask. So this is, this is the mask that I picked for tonight. So I think it goes very well with my outfit. Here's my outfit. I have to go way, way back for you to see. These are the Castagna wedges that um, you probably, I'll link, I'll link it above or below um, if y'all are interested in seeing when they arrived here. It was a great celebration. <laughs> um, but this is my outfit. This is my vintage Gucci belt that we fixed the other day with the new um, hole punch. And this sweater, oh, actually, this is an H&M sweater that I wore for Christmas and got so many um, questions on where did I get it um, from just everybody from strangers to family. Um, this is H&M and if there is, if it's still available in stock, I'll link it below. But it's that kind of day. It's like 45 degrees here in Central North Carolina. We had a cold front that went through um, yesterday. And so I actually had planned to wear something more springy, a um, Amanda Uprichard cotton white um, blouse, kind of like this with this sort of off the shoulder style silhouette, I guess you would say. But because it is so chilly tonight, and you know I love to be chilly, but 
I didn't want to be chilly and sitting there, you know, uncomfortable when a lot of these women that I'm going to be out with tonight, I am meeting for the first time tonight. Um, as I said earlier, this is going to be a pageant dinner, a kind of a meet and greet before the pageant next month. And so I don't want to be thinking how cold I am when I'm meeting amazing women that I am meeting for the first time. It just doesn't set up a good social scene when you're dying to get home and get into your flannel cozies. <laughs> and this sweater is super cozy. So that's why I switched it up. But I hope you can see, let's see. Uh, let's see, can you see, how should I do this? I have, to, I have to figure this out and I need like, if y'all have any suggestions for like really good full length mirrors that aren't $400, I'll take it because I can't seem to find a full length mirror that I can use to show you my outfit. Um, I've got one upstairs that is, it's like, I might as well be using an old bookmark. It is four feet tall and about 10 inches wide. It's like the old mirror that we had on the back of our dorm door. <laughs> and you have to kind of stand there like this. Let's see if I'm going to fit into the mirror. So I'd like to get one that I can lean against, that I can lean against the wall. Sorry about that. I keep losing myself in the frame. Um, so I'd like to get one that I can lean against the wall and show you my outfits because as we get into pageant season, there might be a few more outfits. Not too many, but a few. So I want y'all, our zinnias are making it. Huh. So these are the transplants down here. I'll take you along. Here's the full sun version. Let me just flip the... No, come, come. So the, these are the ones that I transplanted um, over the weekend. Come, come, come. These are the ones that I transplanted. They are doing well. No, no, don't come in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. No. Go lay down. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. This is what I was dreading. Out. Out. Oh boy. Okay, I wanted to show you these. No, Norman, just sit. Can you please? No, no, no. Out. Out. Oh my gosh. The dog in the flower bed story. I never understood why people got angry about that. There is one of the zinnia seeds coming up. There is one of the zinnia seeds coming up. There is one of the zinnia seeds coming up. So we're gonna have zinnia flowers. I have not seen them come up anywhere else, but that, these two lines are the lines that I planted and I remembered um, where they were because I made straight lines. I've got a couple of lines over here, but of course Norman's probably stepped all over them. So we're doing really well on the zinnias. Hopefully these will get big enough that um, he will not be stepping on them when they are three feet tall. So that's, that's the good news. And he's doing really well on his off-leash training. Norman, oh, no, you're okay. Good, 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 okay. And if his little buddies come down the road, he'll go run into the street and, and uh, meet them for a celebration, for a canine celebration. Norman is the king of celebrations. He knows all about the best way to celebrate life. Eat some deer poop, chase a toad, figure out the snake situation, you know, all kinds of celebrations. Sit, sit. Oh, that's a very good boy. Yeah, no, sit. Sit. I had to get a shot on this gorgeous, bright, sunny day. 
it's you know it's usually sunny in North Carolina but it's usually not clear and sunny like this it's usually quite humid so we just had a cold front go through it was like 35 degrees this morning so it's a really clear dry not humid day so the flowers are looking particularly beautiful oh my gosh I do not want to um, to cut these for inside the house because they are so in full bloom and just look beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy with these this year. A oh, couple more minutes of looking at these while Norman runs through the shot. Okay. 